Hi one, Farmer Luke here. Now we're just getting ready for harvest, we're just getting the combine ready there and most of the guards are off so I thought it was an ideal time to just do a very quick video on how a combine works. So when you're out and about at this busy time of the season you, you see them and you know what they're doing and how they're doing it. So my combine is a class Lexan 600, it has a 10.5 meters or 35 foot header. Now the header is the big thing at the front here and that's actually what cuts the crop. So as it's going up and down the field, it has these knife sections going backwards and forwards like a pair of scissors that chop the standing straw, or whatever crop it is, in this case wheat, and then the wheat falls back with the help of these big round things here. These are called the reel. This will go round and as the knife section is cutting the wheat, it helps it fall into the header onto this back auger. And the back auger then takes the crop to the centre of the header which is where it's attached to the combine. And then it goes up through using these bars here, which will drag the crop up into the combine. So let's go around the back and just... So we're up a little bit further in the combine here, we're under the cap. This is the first place the crop ends up after being dragged up. It goes under this big bar here, a round cylinder, and then it goes to the drum, which is just at the back there. So the crop is to actually force through that big beater bar. There's several of them that go around crop is then forced down, pushing most of the grain out. And then the straw then carries on the rest of the journey. The grain's then collected at the bottom, goes over a set of sieves and then took to the tank. We're going to go around the back of the combine so we get a bit better view of the sieves and the rotors. So we're just in the back end of the combine here and you can just see where the drum is there. That bit that I'm pointing at here is called the concave. That's at the bottom of the drum. So as the straw gets forced through, all the grains that's pushed out falls through the concave onto these sieves. And these sieves do exactly what uh, the name is and just sieve the wheat. So these go backs and forwards really quickly. Any grain will fall through and any chaff will actually get blown away. There's a fan just underneath it blowing air through here constantly, forcing the chaff, which is the bit that encases the grain in the ear, out the back of the combine. Now the rest of the straw actually goes up above us into the rotors. So let's just have a quick look at them. So we're actually at the side of the combine now. This is the best place I can get a view of a rotor. But these run from the front of the combine all the way back up to the end of the combine. Now you can just see at the bottom here, they've got these wires, like a concave. Now inside here, there's a big corkscrew that winds the wheat through. And that winding motion rubs the wheat together, forcing the grain to fall out through the open holes here, down onto the sieves we just saw a minute ago. Now any grain that falls through the sieves is taken through the combine up to the tank. And the straw then gets walked out, or wound out the back of the rotors, and then falls out the back end that you see in the fields. Now this is a rotary combine. Walker combines are a little bit different. They actually walk the straw out the back of the combine. It was the same as the sieves, they're just a bigger version of them. And any grain that then falls through the sieves goes right back to the top of the tank, which is at the top there. The lids aren't open and then it comes out the spout when we're ready to unload into a trailer. And that is a very quick how a combine works. I hope you all enjoyed that. I know that's very, very quick and a very brief explanation, but there is a better video on my YouTube channel, as I said, that we go into a lot more detail and we actually get a lot more into the combine. But I hope you enjoyed that. And now when you see a combine working, you know what it's doing. Uh, thank you all for watching, like and subscribe and so forth. Look out for the other harvesting videos that I am going to do. I'm back on it now, so I'm going to do a lot more videos, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, thank you all again. Farmer Clive's actually here. Do you want to say bye, Farmer Clive? Bye, Farmer Clive. See you all again.